Welcome back to the channel. Real quick update on this Orx chassis. I have two Orx chassis. Both of them are holding a Savage. I have one for a Savage uh, 12FV, and then I have this one for a Savage Model 10, and this one's chambered in 308. The other one is a 223. Uh, I think this one is actually my favorite, just because I like the Coyote Tan um, a lot more. But they come in a few colors, and you can get different panels. There's some features you can switch out on them. Um, they're a little bit more limited than some of their chassis. They don't have like a bunch of M-lock, you know, on the sides here. You can't throw uh, an extra, you know, mag holder or a, a match saver kind of deal on the side there. But there's other ways around that, and so I've been fine with that. Really, the reason that it's on, they're on the rifles that they are is because they're not match rifles for me. They're just target shooting rifles, and I think they do really well. The chassis system does really well for just target shooting in general and things that I don't need to rapidly adjust a whole lot. A couple of changes I made, uh, a lot of people do tend to ask about the arc rail because they recognize that the forearm of this, although it's nice and wide and it does have M-lock underneath, uh, it's not easy to get an M or uh, an arc rail rather underneath, especially if it's a real sturdy, um, thick arc rail because there's a contour, there's a little bit of a bend in here and a really thick arc rail isn't going to work. So what I did is I went with a Sunway Photo, which you could find on Amazon and those are pliable enough. I still trust them. I think they're pretty reliable. I've been using them for over a year and it bends just enough. It's also got stoppers fore and aft on the rail itself and it fits just about perfect for the amount of M-lock that you have for slots on the Orcs chassis. So that's one thing. For me, it was a big need because my bipods are Arca and I really didn't really want to have to run uh, Picatinny or any converters or anything like that. So that's a big piece of it for me. It also allows me to add this weight on here. This is a 20 inch 308. It's actually not a super heavy rifle without some weight and uh, you know a big optic. So I like to be able to throw a weight on there. The Arca rail allows me to get that on. And then also obviously accessories like this uh, Athlon tripod. Now I can hook all this stuff up. I can have it all on there at the same time. And if I wanted to, I could run this as a match gun. It's a 308, so I probably wouldn't, but I could. And I think sometimes one of our ranges has an old school match where they have a lot of 308s and 223Es and even gas guns and stuff. And so this would probably fit well in that uh, designation of that kind of match. A couple of things I've noticed about the chassis itself is that the stock, although I do like it and it's a nice chassis stock, I wish I would have gone with the quick adjust knobs because this does get in the way. If you bore sight, and I do, especially at the price of ammo right now, I bore sight all the time and I'm switching around optics on my channel like all the time guys. I kind of wish that I had gone with some quick adjust and I probably will still pick them up just because every time I have to adjust these with an Allen, there's no place to hold the Allen on the stock. That would have been a, a nice idea. It's just somewhere to kind of snap it in and retain it. I think a couple other companies do have something like that and it just seems like it would be a, a convenient uh, issue where you could grab an Allen right out of here and adjust it top and the side. Uh, it would be really nice if um, all the hardware was, this, was the same as well. I can't remember if it is or not, but if there was going to be an included Allen key, if it was all the same hardware, that would be really nice. But as it is, uh, they're stable. It's loosened up on me just a little bit, and that could be, you know, again, this does have a little bit of a thump with a 308. It does move a little, a little bit, a little vibration going through there, and so just this cheek piece loosened up a little bit on me. It wasn't uh, all at once. I'm sure it was over time, and then obviously this is a more affordable chassis, and so it doesn't have a quick adjust length of pull. For some people, that's going to be a big issue. Since this is not a rifle that I'm going to hand to other people and have them shoot a whole bunch, I don't mind it. It's set up perfectly for me, and I have plenty of room to get an optic on there. Now, the Arkin scopes don't have really, really long eye relief, and so uh, it was okay that it's not a longer stock. I think some optics you know, if you're pushing like four inches of eye relief and you wanted it further forward, it maybe would be a little bit awkward, but not not too bad. Um, I do appreciate on this newer one, this is a newer Orcs that I have compared to my other one. It's not a Gen 2, but it is uh, slightly different. I noticed that this has M-lock underneath right here, and so you could throw a sling uh, mount on there if you wanted to, or a bag rider, which I think I'll probably do in the future, is I'll, I'll find some sort of bag rider that is M-Lock compatible and throw a bag rider back here. This isn't bad, and it rides the bags that I have pretty okay, 
but a nice flat bag rider portion right here. I think it would just be one more thing to help me tighten up those groups a little bit more, a little more consistency on there. Other than that, the fit, um, the hardware on the rest of the rifle, it's held in tight, looks good. Nothing about it seems chintzy. It receives um, AIC uh, S mags really well, and I, I haven't had any pins walking out on that mag release. Um, metal mags or polymer mags, I've had really good fit and feed. And so no issues with them at all. I like them, guys. I think this is still one of the best products on the market as far as an entry-level chassis goes. And they just have so many different kinds of guns that they um, now have a, a chassis for or an inlet for. And I, I think it's a, a steal, honestly. Go ahead and pick one up. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll try to get to them in the next couple weeks. I'm not going to be on YouTube so much this month. And so it might be a little bit, but otherwise I appreciate you guys. The, you know, if you like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Turns out in the algorithms right now, sharing is kind of the biggest thing that YouTube is looking for. So if you would share, I would really appreciate it. Thanks.